Hi, this is um, an introduction to Module 8, Lab Conductivity of Solutions. This is what um, you should have in your lab kit, except the 9 volt battery. You can provide that for yourself, but it should look like this. It, um, it should have two alligator clips and a little light bulb that will hopefully light up when it needs to and not when it doesn't. So put get a 9 volt battery and hook it and then to test it just um, touch the leads together and you can see that the light bulb lights up. And the whole point of this experiment is that we're trying to figure out what are good conductors and so strong conductors and weak conductors and non-conductors. Remember that to conduct electricity you need to have free ions or electrons in solution. Uh, well, electrons or free ions in solution. <clears throat> so the first part, you're going to have, and I don't have all of the, the different substances here, but you're going to have some crystalline, so, so salt and sugar in powder form or dry form, crystals and you're going to take the lead and you're going to make sure that you can see it you're going to put to connect the circuit and you can see that there's the the light bulb doesn't light up and the reason it doesn't you, you're gonna have to talk about why that is and it doesn't do that for the salt and it doesn't do it for the sugar either and then over here we have the liquid form so we've taken salt and sugar and we've used distilled water to dissolve it and you repeat this with different solutions so you can, as you can see this is my salt solution and the light bulbs lights up pretty pretty well okay make sure that you wipe between between each compound that you wipe them well, clean them well, because you don't want any contamination from one to the other. And obviously I didn't do the, I haven't done the very best job at it, but make sure that you really clean the leads out. So then we move to the sugar solution and you can see that it's very dimly lit. And you can speculate why that is. Why is the sugar not as good an electrolyte as the salt. Does it come from the distilled water or does it come from the sugar itself? Uh, you're going to have to, to use tap water versus distilled water and vinegar. I have vinegar here. You're going to have to use um, hydrochloric acid which you can find from off the, or the works toilet bowl cleaner and sodium hydroxide which you can get from off or other stores lye you can find lye and rubbing alcohol those are the compounds that you need to test this is vinegar as you can see it's pretty bright so go through every solution and figure out what is conductive what is not conductive and answer all the questions that you need answered and Keep in mind, you're going to answer all of these questions in terms of what is a good conductor, a strong conductor, a weak conductor, or a non-conductor.